Statistics from the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria showed cargo movement at designated airports at a load factor of about 53 million kilograms recorded in the quarter of 2013 alone. This is a 20% increase over the same period in 2012, with the Mutulang Laman International Airport cargo section recording a large amount of the total volume. Now where this large volume of cargo traffic is recorded as we under lock and key for more than 11 days with the area largely deserted. No thanks to an assault on the customs area controller, Tadro Laiwaju, who claims that this happened in the course of an attempt to ensure that things are done in an orderly manner. Our trial will first start by nature of our statutory function and we are assaulted. That's the peak of it. While the customs boss insists on proper processes, the two bodies of licensed custom agents believe that miscreants took advantage of a poor security situation. Sometime this week, a high security meeting took place behind closed doors with all principal actors present, but as it stands, there is no truth in sight. The discussion is still ongoing. We are trying to uh, get in touch with the hierarchy of custom, and we've also directed a uh, senior advisor to the Minister of Innovation to also discuss with the Minister so that they can start relating with the hierarchy of custom and Minister of Finance. The economic implications are grave already. Some airlines, including South African Airways Cargo, have put their flights on hold following this closure. And the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria and the Nigerian Customs Service are losing millions of Naira daily. From the, the statistics, the customs made between 40 to 50 million Naira on daily basis on revenue. Same goes to I mean the handlers and other stakeholders. When one is suffering, it affects the others. It affects the others. We are really we are really appealing to government as a matter of necessity because this is becoming a national issue. It is becoming a national problem. It's, it's even an national embarrassment. Millions of naira worth of goods are really damaging on the tarmac. And who bears this? And we can equally think about the demoral that is uh, accrued to all these days that we have been on, on, on this sit down, sit tight. With this ongoing crisis, all parties are affected, and the earlier this issue is resolved, the better for the economy. Bukola Joe Kitumi, Channel Television News.